Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. Nearly a thousand migrants died attempting to cross the Mediterranean Sea into Europe over the weekend. The accident occurred over the weekend came just days after an earlier vessel capsized, resulting in 400 deaths. Migrants from Mali, Eritrea, Syria, and Libya were among the dead. Representatives of dozens of European Union nations gathered for an emergency meeting in Luxembourg this week to decide on steps to mitigate the humanitarian disaster. Italy, which is often the first location where migrants arrive, ended its year-long highly successful search and rescue operation in 2014 after most European governments refused to provide funding. The Mare Nostrum program saved 100,000 lives before being replaced by a program with a third of the funding. This week's boat accident might be the Mediterranean's worst migrant disaster. At least 200 women and children were thought to have been on board, at least some of them locked below deck. There have only been a few dozen survivors so far. My guest is Behzad Yagmayan. He's a professor of political economy at Ramapo College of New Jersey. He's the author of Embracing the Infidel, Stories of Muslim Migrants on the Journey West. Welcome to Uprising, Behzad. Good having me. Now, I understand that one of the reasons why these boats are capsizing, before we get into the broader issues of why people go, how they are received, uh, but on the specifics, the folks who are arranging the transportation in places like Libya are packing the boats with as many humans as possible, warning them not to move about. When people do inevitably start moving about the boat, water enters the boat, it starts to fill. Before you know it, the boat is sinking. In this particular case, it was thought that the Tunisian captain uh, actually ran it into another boat, uh, and he has been charged. Um, why are so many of these boats capsizing? Is it that they're just being packed to the brim? We lost connection. Uh, can you hear me, Bezat? We can hear you. I can hear you now, yeah. Why okay. are so many of these boats capsizing? First of all, the boats are small compared to the number of people who, who go aboard. Uh, there are flimsy boats, there are smaller boats, they're overpacked beyond capacity. And the sea is rough, and 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 we have to notice that the, the capsizing of the, these fishing boats or bigger boats that Libya to to Italy are only a new example of boats that have been used by migrants in the past 10, 20 years in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, prior to this, prior to Libya becoming a failed state, therefore becoming a hub for migration through from Africa and the Middle East to Italy. Migrants were going through smaller inflatables, and, uh, and those boats were, were capsizing. Many migrants were dying, but not in large numbers at one time. So you would have five migrants dying in one incident, another 10, another five, another six. But the total numbers were not less than these. Hmm. So hmm. at this point, because of the position of Libya, because Libya is a failed state, there is no government, there is no rule, there is no law. So Libya has become another Somalia, a sending state without a government to control the movement of people. So this has become a positioning place, a platform, uh, to say, for, for, for human smugglers to use boats that are not actually suitable for this number of people on the sea.